Hi all, it's Gav here from dartsplan.tv and today I'm doing a video on dart players throws. I know how often it is spoken about, about who to look up to and who to copy and who's a good role model and who's not. Some have got flicks, some have got unorthodox throws, some have got little habits, some just get up to the hockey and throw. And there's always so much talk on it. So what I wanted to do was, is actually record my own throw and just see how good or how bad it actually is. Because in my video yesterday when I was asked about getting new darts, now a few of you come back and said, what is your style like in your throw? So anyway, so here it is. This is um, my style here. <laughs> it, it looks to me actually in slow motion as though I'm throwing slightly different the second and third dart to what I am the first one. And I've also seemed to got that little bit of a rocking motion. Maybe I've got a little bit of hendo in me. Not, not as much as he has, but I definitely do move forward slightly when I throw over darts. So it's it's interesting because obviously, you know, we speak about who to, you know, who are the best dart players to follow. And we always get um, Steve Beaton over the years. Everybody, you know, a lot of the commentators or the pros will say, you know, Steve Beaton has got the, almost the perfect throw. He just gets up there, he's got a straight arm and he throws him. Gary Anderson is another one who's got a really good throw. A.D. Lewis is another natural player that has. But then we speak about some of the other dark players that have got into the worlds, like Elite, and not, you know, not so good. Dave Chisnell, we know that he throws, he kicks his leg off the last one. Mencha Salovic, he's all over the place with his throw. I think he has changed over the years due to dark artists many years ago. But it just shows he's now back into the top sort of six in the world so it just shows you don't have to have a perfect if you've not got a perfect throw it doesn't mean to say you're not going to go on to be a you know in the top six or even a world champion because jockey wilson you know years ago he, he had a bit of a, a funny throw oh, well i think he did anyway um and look what he done in darts so it isn't always about having to follow a certain person it's about how how you deliver the dart. Do you know what I mean? We've all got different grips, we've all got different stances, we've all got these little habits and different things. But what I did find interesting was actually doing mine in slow motion this morning. I am really happy because when I was messing about in there this morning, I actually did hit a 180. It's only my fourth one. So I'm really buzzing about that. I had quite a few 140s, but this is my throw. So what I'd like to know is, is, is who's your throw most like? Who would you recommend to a youngster now going into the game to to look at and you know at the throw to see the style and different things? And who would you say to a youngster, you know, look at these ones, try not to do this, or you know, look at doing things differently? Who's got a better grip and different things? So I look forward to your comments as always. I hope you like this video. If any of you can give me any tips on my throw, which you've just seen there, please do. I'm always open to suggestions and trying to get um better and I'd love to hear hear more about your throw and if you've got any videos send them in I'm happy to put them through dartsplanet.tv and feature yours so that you can get some comments on that as well so that's my video for today um, quite a quick one but as always if you like the videos leave a like please share don't forget to subscribe to the channel check out dartsplanet.tv and I'll catch you guys next time bye <laughs>